Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Ford of Flemington to take a look at a brand new 2023 Ford Expedition Max. This is the King Ranch. So let's take a look and dive into this large and in charge three row full size SUV. See what it brings to the market. Let's dig in. Front end of this Expedition Max in star white metallic tri coat, which is a $995 addition to the cost of the vehicle. We have LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED turn signals, LED fog lamps. We have tow hooks down the bottom so you can pull people out of trouble. We got that huge Ford badge in the middle, chrome on the grill top and bottom and some functional side air curtains as well. Really nice looking front end on this Expedition. Wheel and tire package on this Expedition King Ranch. We have a 22 inch aluminum finish wheel. Very plain, six spoke wheel. Looks good on against the white. We have the King Ranch logo on the center cap. Standard brake and rotor package. And then these giant 22 inch wheels are wrapped in general grabber all season tires. 285 on the width, a 45 series sidewall, 22s, all four corners, all wheel drive. Full side profile on this Expedition Max King Ranch. This thing is ginormous. It's like a huge school bus. Now the Max is a foot longer than your standard length Expedition. And frankly, I think I like the standard length in its exterior design a little bit better than this extra long one. But the, the uh, design of it is very classic Ford Expedition. It's very boxy, it's very squared off, hard body lines from the front tail, uh, headlights all the way to the tail light. We have chrome everywhere on this King Ranch, so it looks cool, but I think for me it's just a little bit too long, and frankly I don't need all that room anyway, so the standard length would do me fine. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Moving in closer, side view mirrors. We actually have the color of the Del Rio interior on the outside of the side view mirror. So the side view mirror color matched with the interior. Nice idea. LED turn signals here in the side view mirrors. We have 360 degree view cameras. Down below, we have the King Ranch badge, looking great. And then we have a partial color match and a partial chrome finish on the door handles, left side fuel filler cap, and then way, way up top, we are color matched on the roof with the antenna crossbars and the panoramic sunroof. Rear end of this Expedition, we have a very short and stubby roof spiler coming up the top. Very squared off in the back, very flat. So the rear wipers down below on the glass, we have the Ford badge in the middle. Expedition spelled out underneath that. King Ranch badge on the left side of the tailgate. With the Max badge on the right side of the tailgate. LED brake lights, LED taillights, LED turn signals. Our exhaust is tucked up underneath the right side of the vehicle and that we have that, again, that bronze Del Rio leather color matching the interior along the bottom bumper, which I think is a nice tie-in. And that panel you see there in between the reflectors on the bumper, that's for your tow package. And we'll talk about towing capability when we take a look at the engine. But it's a really good looking rear end of this Expedition Max. All right, we're under the hood of this 2023 Expedition Max King Ranch. And what do they put in here for a power plant? No more V8s. So what we have here is a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. 400 horsepower, 480 pound feet of torque. The Expedition can tow up to 6,000 pounds. MPGs, 16 in the city, 21 on the highway, 18 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87 so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. Before we get to the interior of this Expedition King Ranch, you're gonna to wanna to know, Mike, how much does this thing cost? Well, 
The MSRP is not cheap on one of these babies. You're looking at a total MSRP, $89,780. So let's check out the interior. All right, first things first, when you walk up to your King Ranch Expedition and open the door, our running boards deploy automatically for you. When you close the door, those will suck up back underneath the vehicle. Nice touch. We come to the door sill plate. We have the King Ranch door sill plate to welcome you to the vehicle. Pedal box, nice large dead pedal. I like the way the all season mat covers up that carpeted dead pedal. We have a rubberized brake and accelerator. Looking good. Seats, power seats for the driver and front passenger. What else? And then we have the Del Rio leather interior. This color is called Java and it looks just spectacular. King Ranch logo and stitched right into the seat. We have the King Ranch logo up here on the headrest as well with the two-tone, just stunningly beautiful. And the bolstering is forgiving and nice and thick. Just a beautiful looking interior on this King Ranch, and it ought to be for this kind of money. Door panel action, nice leather upper, nice and soft with the stitching. Soft touch on the armrest, no gloss black plastic anywhere. We have that nice insert, give it some more depth of color. So a really nice looking door panel. And of course, down on the bottom left, you have that B&O sound system, 22 speakers in this B&O sound system in this King Ranch. Dashboard, a very traditional flattened squared off dash here in the Expedition Max. Leather with the stitching, two heat and air vents. We have some fake wood finish here in this area and we have extra storage behind that. If you just pop that button, that pops open. You can put some extra goodies in there. More leather, more stitching, and then a nice large glove box. All right, infotainment system in this thing is massive. This is the vertically mounted 15.5 inch screen SYNC 4. SYNC 4 means wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, everything done within the screen. Very few redundancy as far as hard controls on the center stack. Down below here, here's where you can get your heated seats or ventilated seats right there for the driver and the front passenger. Right here we have the heated steering wheel right there in the middle. We have our home button right here. We can get to home. We can Bluetooth our phone. Here's the Apple CarPlay Android Auto wireless connections. We can go to entertainment. We have games and things that we can play while we're sitting around waiting for somebody to pick up because I wouldn't be playing them while I'm driving. And so those are the apps. We can X out of that. We have our nav. Look at that beautiful smoothness to the navigation. Really, really nice. So a lot of great features in this uh, King Ranch. We can go to our towing. We can look uh, set, set this up for valet mode. We can hit the cameras and take a look at where our cameras are. So there's a lot of different a lot of different action going on in this system and there's a lot of cool stuff here's your sketch if you want to sketch you can just use your finger and you can sketch on it if you want I don't know what that's for maybe for work if you're working in here got me but we can go back you can save it save it or not we can go back in here again we can go back over here get back into this action. So there's a lot of action going on in this King Ranch as far as this infotainment system goes. It is very, very intuitive. It is very, very easy to save everything. So nicely done. You have other menus you can toggle back and forth with through here you got your dual climate control but everything done within this and now we look at our backup cameras right we have the top with trajectory nice and clear and then our 360 degree view underneath that so that's nice or we can update this and get rid of the 360 
view if you want or go back to the standard look and then we go back in the park and then we're back here into my lovely sketch but really really nice system easy to use and uh, a lot of stuff going on in here where we can manage your driver profiles your remote start setup your power lift gate those running boards that we have uh, set to go up and down when you get in out of the car that's set through here Bluetooth in your phone I mean general settings there's just a ton of stuff here to get to in this King Ranch but nicely done as we move down we do have our four-way hazards and our traction control off and our max for our uh, defrost over on the right we do have a 12 volt and over here on the left we have our trailer tow connect disconnect action and then we have our pro trailer switch uh, on or off right here which is nice down below further you have a USB A, a USB C and a wireless charging pad more of this nice King Ranch with the stitching in this Java color here is the dial to take you through this 10 speed automatic we have our diff lock we have our drive modes right now we're setting too high but you have two high four high four low and four auto hill descent control parking sensors on off two cup holders and then we look at the key fob it's our standard Ford key fob uh, unlock lock remote start pop the tailgate panic button Ford badge nicely done and then here is our huge armrest King Ranch action with the stitching and then just pop that open and we have a huge removable tray and look at all that storage in there it's just ginormous all right expedition steering wheel nice steering wheel nice color in here for the King Ranch Ford badge in the middle of the horn button some nice aluminum trim down below on the left we have voice commands cruise control set up over here and then your volume for the radio on the right side we have our telephone controls and controls for your digital dash so kind of an odd setup that they have the voice and the telephone split most of them where I see that the telephone and the voice are on the same side so that's an interesting deal no paddles on the steering wheel on the stock here we can do our windshield wipers right here front and back down below we have a whole bunch of switches so here this switch we can drop the headrests of the third row this one we can pop the tailgate makes sense we can adjust our headlight controls from here and our fog lamps from there brighten and dim the dash emergency brake and this adjusts the pedals so you can bring the pedal, put the pedals back down or bring the pedals closer to you. And if I move my leg, if you can see those pedals, if I move them, get my hand out of the way, they're moving closer and then they're moving farther away. So that's how that works for the automatic pa paddles. On this side, we have our engine start stop button right behind there. And then we have our digital dash looking good nice and easy to figure out everything is digital you can hit your different menu buttons in here and configure everything how you would like the gauges up top give you all the information that you need it is really really easy to to use no doubt about it and I really like how it looks and I like to have your expedition spinning around now your drive mode action right you have normal and then you have eco and, and the expedition turns green that's cool then you have your sport mode and then the expedition changes again and then you have tow haul and then zipping back around the other side you have slippery and again the color of the expedition changes and then you have sand again we change colors of the vehicle and then mud and ruts so they got you all set up here uh, with this Expedition King Ranch and I really like how the Expedition actually changes colors as well as the dash when you go to your different drive modes that's pretty cool
overhead console time. We have LED lighting on the dome. And if you want these lights to go on and off when you open and close the door, this button must be off. And then you can open the door, lights will come on, close the door, the lights will dim out. Now here's the switches for the glass on our panoramic roof and then the shade. So you want to open the shade, you give it a shot, this big roof is going to go back halfway, you give it another shot, and it goes back all the way over that mid-row passengers. And then glass is the separate. You want to open the glass. You hit the glass button. You got the wind buffeter that pops up. That's nice. And the glass goes about that far back. You want to close it. You hit the glass button again. And the glass will close. And then you got to hit the close shade button. And now the shade starts coming back. Boy, it's kind of loud. And that'll come back halfway. And then you got to hit it again. To get it to come all the way back so it's again that four switch operation of the panoramic roof here in a ford we don't have a digital rear view mirror in this ninety thousand dollar expedition max let me know how you feel about that and then sun visor nice headliner in here as well nice and soft with that king ranch uh, vibe then we have the sun visor with vanity and then it detaches does it slide Yes, to block out the side sun. Good job. Mid-row time. Open the door. Our running boards pop out for us. Very nice. And then we just climb right in. Really easy. This seat is set for my driving position. Look at all that knee room in this max action. Huge amount of headroom and shoulder width room. All leather on the back with seat pockets behind the front and front passenger seat as well. Two cup holders right here for our mid-row passengers. And then we got the command center action going on down here. We have our climate control. We have two stage heated seats for both mid-row passengers. But where's my ventilated seats at 90 grand? And then we have a USB-C and a USB-A and a home power source and storage and a 12 volt. So they got you covered back here in this expedition but I need ventilated seats at this price point door panels same nice use of materials and design as the front door As you can see there's our front door panel here's our back door panel looking good captain's chairs beautiful again same design with the King Ranch logo embossed into the seat look at the size of these armrests these things can fit like a lumberjack's arm. They're so wide and huge. I love them. Nothing but, you know, we're in a bigger King Ranch. We get bigger captain's chairs armrests. I love it. But a really good spot to be here in a mid-row. And then we have our heat and air vents right up here. More speakers. Again, 22 speakers in this B&O system. And, uh, geez, boy, it looks good back here. And I left my doodle up. What do you guys think about how good that doodle looks? <laughs> let's head to the third row and see what kind of room we have back there all right third row action in this max here is the button right up here on the mid row captain's chair you just pull that slider out of the way and look at all that room to get in huge amounts of room to get in i can just step right on the running board and in i go to the third row action and wow Wow, look how low my knees are. Look how much room you got in between the seats. This seat is all the way back. This mid-row seat's all the way back. Look at her room. Unbelievable. We have reclining seats in the back, USB action and a cup holder. We have our heat and air vents right up here. LED lighting in the, in the back in the third row as well. And then look at the seats here. Del Rio leather in the third row with the King Ranch embossed in the back. Nice soft headrests. This is the nicest third row I think I've been in in a car. Or excuse me, in a full-size SUV. I can move all the way around. Now here is our recline and unrecline. So if I hit that button, you can see that seat going back nicely about three, four inches and then back up. So that's a nice feature to make your your passengers feel more comfortable and feel like they're a big part of being on the ranch in this King Ranch. 
Let's head to the cargo area and see how much crap we can put in this King Ranch Max. Back end of the expedition, it's time to get into the cargo area. You can pop the tailgate from the key fob or from the dash, or you can come back here and it's a dead giveaway under the license plate. Boom, you hit the button right underneath there. Nice electric assist on the way up, and there better be. Nice electric assist on the way down using this button. And look at all this room. Third row up, massive amounts of room in this Expedition Max. If you got big items, if you want to max out your cargo and load space, this thing will get her done. This is huge. And now here's our carpeted King Ranch floor mats. Again, the Java color with the King Ranch logo, looking cool. And then more cargo space underneath here. You can open it this way, more cargo. You can open it this way and fold it out that way, more cargo. And then this one, more cargo underneath. Lighting, 12 volt in the back, in case you need power back here. And we have power folding seats for the third row and the mid row. Now, to, to speed this process up, these button, this button right here, this one and this one, that puts the seats down together. This would put the left one down, this would put the right one down, this puts them down together. So we're going to go together. So here we go. In the middle, third row. Down it goes. It's a slow process. That's why I would suggest putting them down together. And now they're down and look at the size of this. Once you get the mid-row down, we're going to be over 120 cubic feet of space in this Expedition Max. It's humongous. And now, middle button, captain's chair time, and they just fall, boom, like that. So slow third row, wicked fast, and now look at all this room. You can put two by fours, wood, I don't care what you put in here, 100 gallon drums of stuff. I mean, this is humongous. This is the kind of thing that I would rent just so I could help my son at the end of the semester move out of school because he's got a lot of crap. And this thing would hold it all in one big, one fell swoop. I love how much space you have back here in this Max. Even though for my everyday needs, this is way too big, but it's still unbelievable how much storage space you can get in behind one of these. And great engineering by Ford in here to have your dual panel right here, your dual floor panel storage areas, as well as power dropping the third and the second row. That's a big help. And reclining that third row for your passengers. Really nice engineering here in the back of this Ford Expedition Max. And one other thing I did want to show you with the tailgate. We already showed you how this thing is going to go all the way up with your key fob or with the dash or with the handle underneath the license plate. But you can also just open the glass. So if you want to just open the glass, you come to the back and there's this little triangle right there. And you push that and your glass pops and now you can just open the glass. So if you just wanted to reach in and grab something, you can do that without having to open this entire tailgate. So that's a nice feature that they've had for a long time on the expedition. All right, here is the window sticker for this 2023 Expedition King Ranch 4x4. So feel free to pause the video, zoom in, check out everything that is optioned into this vehicle. And now let's take this ginormous thing out for a spin. All right, we are heading down the road with sunroof cam in this 2023 Ford Expedition. Max King Ranch. I feel like I'm on the ranch in this King Ranch going to check out my Longhorn Steers. <laughs> and this thing wallows and it's really comfortable to drive and the tires just soak up the bumps really, really well. Steering is a bit vague and light, but what do you expect in a big, huge SUV like this? This thing is for hauling big families and big cargo, but it just feels really comfortable in these seats. These uh, Ford seats are so comfortable, some of the most comfortable seats I've ever been in in an SUV, and there's no change 
in this expedition. The seats are incredibly comfortable. You got the lumbar action if your back starts getting tired. Love the huge armrest in between the passenger and the driver so both people can use it without having to worry about bumping elbows with each other. I'm not a fan of this 15.5 inch uh, vertically mounted screen. Uh, I like the screens horizontal better than I do vertical and this thing is just so massive and everything is in here. So if I want to turn on heated seats or heated steering wheel, I'm going to have to hit the button and then hit that slide rule with my hand while I'm trying to drive and I, that worries me that you're going to get distracted and, and not stay in your lane, run off the road. I much rather have a button I can push rather than a slide to go up and down to try to figure out do I have the heated seats on, do I have the ventilated seats on, I'm not a big fan of that, but I do like how large the uh, navigation display is and all that jazz, but it's a humongous vehicle, humongous. And the other thing that I'm gonna have a problem with is that we have a $90,000 vehicle and we don't have ventilated seats in the mid row. It's got to be heated and ventilated at this price point. I know there's one trim above this, which is the platinum trim, and maybe you'll get them then, but then you're looking at a Hyundai as far as uh, price, and that's just way out of control for an expedition. This is already way up there to begin with, but you need ventilated seats in a $90,000 vehicle. At least that's just my opinion. But I really just love the comfort and the fact that I am just like the boss. I am the ranch boss in this King Ranch. When I'm coming, everybody's going to be looking at me. And that's cool. And the engine performs beautifully. The three and a half liter EcoBoost V6, 400 horsepower, 480 pound feet of torque, gets this massive close to 5,800 pound vehicle moving down the road easily effortlessly so I don't have an issue you lose the V8 that's okay gas mileage kind of sucks but in a car this big how can you expect good gas mileage and and the transmission is really smooth this 10-speed automatic getting the job done just cruising down the road shifts smoothly shifts on time upshift and downshift Turning radius isn't bad for a monstrous car. And now we go off, off the road we go. Handling is wallowy as hell. You'd expect that from a big SUV like this. But it can do a little damage on the twisty bits, but just a little, not too much. You're running a, throwing this thing into a ditch. What do you think about the general tires? I haven't seen a automaker put general tires on a on a car and god knows how long i didn't even think general was still around <laughs> you know you see pirelli you see michelin sometimes you see the japanese branded tires but i haven't seen a general tire forever on a brand new vehicle let me know what you think about the tires but we're going to do a, a quick emergency brake test here and we're going to do that from 42 miles an hour and three two one all right it stopped and it stopped in a straight line but we did lock up the front brakes a little bit so we may need some bigger brakes on the front of this vehicle than the standard brake package that we have uh, I don't like it when any lock brakes lock up under heavy load so Ford may want to look at putting on some bigger brakes on this Expedition Max but smooth ride smooth as like riding on a cloud like riding on a cloud here in this expedition king ranch max and you got the four by four going for you so if you were out on the trails on the ranch on the farm get some mud you can stick it in the mud and you can just power through it so i really like how they've set this up with all the different drive modes as well here in this king ranch action But what do you think about this Ford Expedition Max King Ranch for 90 G's? You think that's way out of control? Would you go somewhere else? Maybe suburban? 
maybe Grand Wagoneer? Let me know what you think in the comments about this massive Expedition King, King Ranch. But if you look at it compared to the Navigator, you have a Navigator L in this high level trim, you're gonna be like 110 on the price, maybe higher. And here we are at 89.90 for the most part. So compared to the Navigator, you got, you know, it's less money, but it's still a ton of money for a big, huge truck. And believe me, the regular length Expedition has more than enough room for me. So if I was going with a full size Ford SUV, I would go with a regular length Expedition and I wouldn't go Navigator because I just think that's too expensive. Uh, I would go Expedition regular length King Ranch for sure because I love this interior. This Del Rio leather interior just is gorgeous and it feels so soft to the touch and uh, I just love it. Just love it. All right, we're heading back to the dealership now. We're off the back roads. So we're wrapping this thing up. So I would like to thank Sioka Ford of Flemington for allowing the channel access to this 2023 Ford Expedition Max King Ranch for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.